let's get a few things clear before we start. Do not pay attention to the air conditioner. Do not pay attention to my raggedy ass hair. Try to focus on something positive. There's anything you could possibly focus on in this video other than the things I just listed. And you will notice that I have a new camera. I've been saving up for a while because uh, I've been just wearing out my webcam. I needed an upgrade. So yeah, I want to thank my patrons for helping out you girl. Also, uh, thank you to um... YouTube. But uh, anyway, I'm going to ruin the hopeful mood by introducing the video we're talking about today. You may have seen other YouTubers agonize over the retardation of this video. Now this. It's such an accurate name for them because it's just like every video is like, oh, now this, now this, now this. <laughs> we have new bullshit. Let's just get on with it. Get it over with because, ugh. Hey guys, welcome back to Now This. <laughs> I'm sure whatever you're gonna bitch about is one million times less annoying than what you just did. Guys is a simple term. It could mean boys, or if you're modern, hip, it means people. Or it could be the beginning of a question like, guys, do you know how to pronounce Klingon? At first glance, guys seems inviting, friendly, maybe warm, even comedic at times. But it, like many male default terms, should not be normalized as an all-encompassing phrase, innocent as it may seem. Is it okay to say she has human blackface? And as innocent as your dark skin, pronounced lips, and overall buffoonish behavior may seem, it can read a little offensive. While we may understand the word means no real harm, with a deeper look, you'll understand that we've been ignoring the cognitive impact on women, as well as gender non-conforming folks, Not a fuck criticism of you. Fuck by only explicitly addressing the male identifying individuals present. Wow, way to contradict yourself. And it only took uh, 41 seconds. <laughs> the meaning of guys has changed over time. According to the Washington Post, etymologists believe it began in the 17th century with a guy named Guy Fawkes. When are y'all gonna get to the goddamn point? The, eventually, according to the Boston Globe, the term broadened to describe creepy people, then to a generic term for men, and now, some would say, a gender neutral phrase. No, 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 not some. Everybody, don't try to be fucking slick. Some people think that you're an adequate news source. I don't give a fuck about some. For decades, we have set a standard of only addressing the men in the room. Oh, here come that boy. Of course, we claim it's colloquial, but with our elevated knowledge and inclusive perspective, it just seems lazy inconsiderate, and a small part of what reinforces the gender hierarchy today. You know we've reached maximum headassery when a gender neutral expression reinforces gender hierarchy. Um, guys, James Jackson, Sacramento, he, him. Please do not use gendered language to, to address everyone. It's almost like you're making the shit up as you go along. How is one to feel empowered to speak or assert themselves when upon greeting, they're misgendered or even ignored in language? Oh, well, that's easy. I just assume that anyone who needs a third party to feel empowered is either deeply insecure or Quentin reviews. Can we be surprised that for decades, women often felt uncomfortable asserting their voice? Oh my God, this bitch is going back to the Eisenhower administration. These linguistic tendencies were developed and reinforced in eras where women were barely meant to be seen and certainly not heard. So, so anything created, cultivated, whatever, during a time of oppression and repression should just, shouldn't be used at all, burn all possessions invented before 1975, smash a rock on the part of your brain that controls language and speech, and go live in a fucking grass hut like a common Colobus monkey. That is gold standard wokeness. Please note, you're not a bad feminist if you're comfortable with using the phrase, guys. Oh, well that's a relief. But what about other bad feminist habits I possess, like empathy or a personality? There are larger issues that we, the feminists, need to combat. This hoe better not list the same shit that they always list. <laughs> I swear to God. Reproductive rights, <laughs> LGBTQ rights, and the general reprogramming of most people's minds when it comes to the valuation of women in society. Really? Now I can't speak for
for other Western countries. But in the US, we've got alimony, shorter prison sentences, societal protection, innocent until proven guilty, a law that's protected us from wage discrimination since 1973. We're one of the primary beneficiaries of cancel culture. I mean, with the exception of a few things, I think we're doing pretty okay. But when you stop valuing the personhood and visibility of individuals, you make it easier to dehumanize them on a macro scale. Minimizing his, her, its, their- Its? What the fuck? Are we trying to make Pennywise feel comfortable in uh, Western society now? The fuck? I'm not offended per se if someone lumps me in with the guys. Wow, you are really full of shit. You're one small step away from making a more conscious effort to dismantle the patriarchy. What? year is it? Don't believe me? Try walking into a room full of cisgender heterosexual men and triumphantly announce, hey gals, okay girls, thanks sis. What up, biatch? I'm sure within 10 minutes, if not seconds, at least one person will correct you. Well, maybe because gals and sis are not gender neutral terms, whereas terms like guys or dudes can be gender neutral. Have you ever heard words like mankind or human? Well, you could say due to our ever evolving language, guys and dudes are derivatives of human and mankind. Male words and expressions can even double as gender neutral in the Spanish language. This is not a sexist phenomenon. We should all be as protective of our gender identities as a cisgender heterosexual man. So if some thoughtless human being were to walk into a room filled with trans men, like what up divas, what up gals? No one would take offense to that. Now this and all their wokeness suddenly forgotten what misgendering is. So what can you do? Substitute one hey guys with a simple, good morning everyone. Hi y'all. Stoking the flames of idiocy is the only way now this can make money anymore. Yeah, they're not idiots. They know their content is fattening sludge for lethargic narcissists. Well, what bothers me is, is that there's so many that now this is able to stay afloat for as long as it has. It is goddamn depressing. Everybody, scholars, team if you're at work, campers if you're in the forest, bay hive because it's always appropriate. <coughs> you can also just find ways to insert people's names and address everyone present. People already do that, Susie Carmichael. I challenge you to take an extra 0.5 seconds to think about what comes out of your mouth before you say it. I think you should have taken your own advice. You can say that all of this is silly or too PC. No. Who'd say anything like that? Face it, the things we do and say matter. So if you do nothing else, Repeat after me. I'm a faggot and I'm proud. Uh, ma Ma'am, the video's over. Stop, please. Well, that, I, that was probably one of the worst SJW related videos I've ever done. What was the aim here? I mean, other than cultural Marxism, what the fuck? Because with other SJW videos, there is a clear agenda, there's a clear message. It may be dog shit, it may be insanity personified, but, but this is just not, not, like, were you bored? What the fuck? So, someone help me understand. What this was supposed to mean. Anyway, that's... I will be doing a reaction to the very first episode of Batwoman. Check that shit out. There's a lot of movies I want to talk to you guys about, but they're not all review worthy. Like, I don't want to sit down and put in my best editing into something that's just going to be mess. So I'm going to start trying to do weekly movie or television reactions. I'm going to try to get this shit out weekly. I'm going to try. Thanks for watching, my precious babies, and I'll see you next time.